windsurfing is definitely one of the hardest and most technical sports out there. You have to always adapt very fast. The wind can change, the wave can change, the conditions, there can be storm, there can be sun. It's very easy to get frustrated as soon as you start not landing a trick that may take months or even years, I would say, in some cases. You will fall, you will fall, there is no way uh, that you will improve without uh, trying again and again and again. So how I started windsurfing? Actually, it was kind of lucky, I would say. So it was my mother's birthday and uh, the local, let's say, surfing school had uh, given her a gift of six uh, beginner lessons and uh, she just decided to, to pass them over to me. I knew from the beginning that uh, I definitely wanted to get very good at the sport and even uh, get some medals and maybe be world champion someday. If I'm not windsurfing, let's say, you will find me either I'm out in the woods, mountain biking or road biking. When biking, uh, the really cool thing is that you can push yourself even more than windsurfing. You can go all out and uh, give it everything you have and uh, be like soaked in sweat. The ultimate goal is to always uh, push yourself to the limit and beyond. It's the coldest hand that run down this land Where the ocean bends Windsurfing has changed my life uh, 100%. It has pretty much changed it upside down. I never thought that I was going to travel so much, meet so many people, so many different cultures. The life I have at the moment is pretty much the life I, I want and I always want it. Uh, be free, feel free and do what I love and I'm pretty sure that I've accomplished that for now and I hope I can live this life for a long, long time.